Welcome to my EcoBuzz, I'm Jessica Gregory. There's nothing quite like a hot beverage to chase away the winter chill. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to make tea from the Eastern White Pine Tree. Because we're talking about consuming natural plant materials, I wanna make sure that you understand that you need to be able to accurately identify your plant. The best way to do this outside of bringing an expert with you is to purchase a good ID book to the local plants in your area. It should include clear photos, detailed descriptions, range maps, and it should also mention other plants that might be commonly misidentified. And finally, watching this video is not a substitute for doing your own research. You don't want to grab and eat something that could make you sick. With that disclaimer out of the way, let's go out and find some white pine. In Michigan, the eastern white pine is the state tree, and although it's not as widespread as it once was due to logging, it's still very common in forests, also in urban neighborhoods and park settings. This one right here is a good example. You can see that the needles are pretty long and thin. They also are very soft to the touch, not pokey or spiky like the blue spruce, for example. Also, if you look closely at the branches, the needles are bundled up into little groups. If you were to take off one of these groups and count the needles, 95% um, of the time you're going to see five. You might find some exceptions, uh, but, but most of the time you're going to have five needles in a bunch um, and combined with the soft feel and the, the length of the needles, um, you can be pretty confident it's a white pine. And a little trick that helps to remember this is that um, the word white actually has five letters. Five letters, five needles. Now in general, when you make natural teas from plants, you use the leaves. Sometimes you'll use the roots or the bark, uh, but most of the time it's gonna be the leaves. In the case of leaves, you wanna look for leaves that are undamaged and healthy and then pluck them off carefully, being careful not to crush them or break them apart before you get to make tea out of them. If you're wondering why white pine tea, well, it's because the needles are extraordinarily high in vitamin C, which is packed up in loads of ascorbic acid. White pine needles have three and a half to five times more vitamin C than an orange. And there are tons of health benefits as well, from cancer prevention and cardiovascular health to immune system health, and even treatment for depression and anxiety. There are some potential risks, First off, you should be very confident in your tree ID before you make any tea out of it. Um, this is because depending on your location, there are some conifers that you should avoid because they are very toxic. A couple of examples are the yew and the ponderosa pine. Um, if you're pregnant, you shouldn't drink tea from any pine because there is a slight risk of abortion or stillbirth. Other than that and the occasional allergy though, white pine tea is considered to be very safe. So which needles do you pick? Well, that really depends on what's more important to you, vitamin C content or flavor. Older needles, further back on the branch, have a higher vitamin C content, but they also produce a tea that is stronger, more bitter, and pine tasting. Um, if that's not your thing, you wanna go for the brighter green, younger needles on the branch tips. Those produce a milder flavored tea. Whew, that was exciting. Thanks for joining me today and learning a little bit more about how to identify a white pine safely and um, also learning about how to collect the needles and or bark for making white pine tea. Now, if you want to know what's involved with the process of actually making white pine tea, join me next time. Have a great week. Happy naturing.